Hello and welcome to the Sam Air official kit review of Chef United kits 2020-21. First of all, we're going to look at the home shirt and then in the next episode, which will probably be in the future, um, we're going to look at the away shirt, which is pink. So let's jump right into it. So let's jump into the uh, the things I like about this shirt. So, first of all, I like the width of the stripes. I think that is about right for a United shirt. It's very good. Um, Billy Sharp agrees with me. I, I like the uh, thickness of the stripes. I just think if they put like a pin black down. pinstripe for just it. Just to yeah. hold it a bit. Yeah. Nice one, nice fit. Smart mate. I also like the amount of stripes. So this is something that all good United shirts have. One down the middle, two either side with two white stripes. That's how it works. That's how this one is. And it's how this one is apart from it's got two extra white stripes. I also quite like the detailing in the stripes. So if you look very closely, you can see it's sort of like got these almost Minecraft style textures. I'm not really sure about it, but I really do, I quite like that. It's just a nice little touch. It doesn't overdo it, it's just got it, you know, it's just an, you won't be able to see it from a distance. You can only see it from here. But I just think it adds a bit of, of uh, a, a visual flair to the shirt. I really, you know, I quite like that bit. And then uh, the material. Now they've changed the material, Adidas. They've changed it from uh, whatever it was called before, climber cooled material, to this more holy uh, material, which is very, very stretchy. Well, not very stretchy, but it is. It's quite stretchy, as you can see here. If I do that, it, it, it stretches. Whether it's supposed to do that or not, I don't know, but it does. Um, and it's very cooling. I can imagine that the, the Sheffield United players will will not struggle of getting warm in this. I feel like they'll do a good job. And I, I don't imagine it'll hold water particularly well. So I think it'll, uh, so it won't get soaked basically and get really heavy, is what I'm trying to say. I think we'll, we'll play well in this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that probably makes any difference whatsoever, but you know. One thing that is a bit odd though, it's it's quite see-through. It's, uh, if you hold it up to the window, as I probably am doing on a piece of B-roll now, um, you can see through it, which I don't imagine is very good if you're a, a whammon or someone with man breasts, like myself. Um, it's a lot like this one. This one does a very similar thing. It's the 1997-99 uh, home shirt. Um, you can see on like the old videos, like yeah, I was watching one earlier, Sunderland, uh, which will be uploaded to my other channel very soon, the Red VHS, go and check it out. Um, you could see Brian Dean in it and you could see like the, the tag in the back of the shirt, not because it was stuck up, but because it was like, it was up to his back and you could see the tag through the shirt and if you hold it up to the light, you know, the, you, you can see the light through the shirt sort of thing. And you can do the same with this. Um, I haven't tested it on the away shirt, but I shall do. And then finally, in terms of the things that I like, uh, well, not finally, actually, I, I like the sleeves. I like how they've got these. I think they're quite good. No stripes on the sleeves, because Adidas can't seem to do that. But I swear I've seen an Adidas kit with stripes on the sleeves. I think it's a, it was a Newcastle one from, from years ago. I've been meaning to ask you, who do you support? You're not believers, Liverpool. But again, it's years ago and their new templates just don't do stripes down the sleeves. They don't really do stripes at all. That's that's my main issue with, with Adidas. They're not very good at stripes. But I feel like they've still done a decent job. It's got black on it, which is important. I like black on a United shirt. Red, white and black. They're the three colours of United. It's not just red and white. The black needs, uh, the black needs looking at. Um, and finally, I'd like to add about the... the the things I like about this shirt, which is not something I can demonstrate because I've not had a number put on the back, but I like the red numbers on the white background. I think that looks appealing. I really do. I think it looks well. 
Uh, I think there's only one been published like that you can see, and it's of Chris Basham, uh, number six. It, it just looks all right. It looks good. I, I quite like it. I've not seen Premier League numbers in red. Uh, not that I can think of, anyway. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just thought it looked nice. Um, and it's just adding to the appeal of this shirt. Now on to the, the things that I'm not so keen of. Earlier I mentioned black on the sleeves. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I wished it had black pinstripes in between the red and the white. Or even down the middle of the, the red, like on the 1990-92 uh, the home shirt, which is a really cool one, which is uh, my favourite ever United kit. As you'll see in, in the corner, there's a video uh, about that. <laughs> um but yeah, I wished it had black pinstripes, which is something that Billy Sharp pointed out. He said it needs black pinstripes, and I agree. Um, Panelling at the top, it's a lot like the 2002 Decent shirt, which if you need reminding of, it's this one. Can you see what I mean? It, it, the pan I mean, on, on the, the new one, the stripes go all the way up here, but it's still got this panel at the top, which is a bit weird. Uh, and I've I think, oh yeah, no, the badge on the swap sides, I was being thick. Um, but yeah, it, the badge is in the white bit as well on this shirt, which it isn't, and it's got red. It, it's nothing like the Diesel shirt, I've just realised. That's not gone well. But anyway, back to the modern day. This is going to sound a bit odd, and I know this isn't really the kit designer's fault, but the red. The red on the USG logo, it it's, doesn't work. I can't tell if it's too bright compared to the red on the stripes. But yeah, I'm, I'm not keen. I wish they'd have just done it all in black. The red in black. So it's just a black and white logo. It'd look better. I just, I don't know. They've tried, they've tried really hard to get it onto the shirt because the actual USG logo looks nothing like this. Well, it does, but it's, it's got like a weird shiny colour and the, the, the Union Jacks in red, white and blue. And obviously we can't have white or blue, white and blue on a shirt because it's Sheffield United, not the other ones. Um, <laughs> and uh, finally, my last gripe with it is the down down here. Don't worry, I'm not flashing you my armpit. Look at the stripe there. Why is it stitched together like that? Why not just carry the stripe round to there? It just seems a bit weird. It's like the back panel where they've got to put the number is just sort of put on it. it i don't know it just i'm not keen on the way that the stripe is just cut off halfway across it but i'm glad they carry it on along the bottom i don't know it just looks it looks odd i noticed that on the video just looks a bit weird i'm not as keen on that bit um one final thing i'd like to point out this isn't just this isn't a gripe don't worry this is just something that i found entertaining um this is a large usually i buy a medium so if you are looking at buying this shirt and you haven't already, if you're a medium normally, get a large. It's it's a bit snug otherwise. Um, and to demonstrate why this is a bit odd, I'm going to, to show you something. Last season's home shirt. Medium. Last season's away shirt. Medium. This season's away shirt. Medium. This season's home shirt. Large. Fathom that. <laughs> doesn't make any sense anyway so in conclusion is it a good shirt yeah it's all right at least it's not ridiculous at least it's not got diamonds on it or some at daft like that um at least it's got stripes as some uh kits that i saw didn't have stripes on you know uh concept kits didn't have stripes sacrilege what were they thinking i don't know but yeah i think it's an all right shirt is it better than last season's, which is uh, which is here? No, not in any way, shape, or form. But it'll do. But I think uh, I think I shall leave it there for today. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Shame about it being leaked. That's something I'd like to address. If uh, the person leaking everything is watching this video, please stop. It's not good. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my other channel, the Red VHS. There'll be a link in the description and a card. Uh, and that's it. ta -ra.
Latte, Freda Cake.